What's up? I'm Andre D. Tune the Great Johnson, and this is W A G E E N T Podcast. Today I have a special guest with me tonight by the name of Mr. Eddie Floyd Jr. Mr. Floyd, how you doing, sir? Hey, I'm doing good. All right. Now, what some people don't know is Mr. Floyd came from a bloodline of a legend that helped shape and mold the music industry as a whole. Briefly tell us about your father's legacy. Okay. Uh, started in, he, well, originally he's from Montgomery, Alabama. Okay. And uh, as a teenager, he moved to Detroit and uh, formed a band called the Falcons in the late 50s, in the early 60s, mm-hmm. in which they had a couple of hits, uh, You So Fine, and uh, never found, not never found a girl. It was uh, a song. I can't recall the name of it right now. It'll come to me. Okay. Uh, then later, the the band broke up, and he followed a man named Al Bell, who was president of Stax in Memphis. Oh, okay. And then there, he became a songwriter and producer, okay. written a lot of hits for different artists. Okay, that's, that's, okay, cool. Now, you say you're from Detroit. Are you from originally from Detroit? I am from Detroit. He's from Montgomery, Alabama. Oh, okay. So, um, how did you end up in St. Louis? Well, I, uh, in, I think it was 2007, and I was in Memphis for the home going of uh, Isaac Hayes. He had passed away. Right. And I'd gone there for uh, a homegoing service. Mm-hmm. And then I met a young lady uh, on Bill Street at a nightclub, and we started talking. Then I eventually uh, decided to come here to St. Louis and see her. And uh, ultimately, I married her, and I'm wow. still married to her here in St. Louis. <laughs> and that's a really good, true love story there. <laughs> Now, are you a musician, too? Well, I uh, come from a musical family. Besides my father, I have siblings that sing, and uh, my mom was, uh, she's passed now, but she was a jazz singer. Wow. But uh, I unfortunately didn't get their voice, but I did have talent to play instruments, and I played several. Among them were uh, drums, bass, guitar, and uh, a little bit of keyboards and violin. Oh, okay. That sounds really good. But, my, but I was better at lead guitar. That's oh. where I was killer. Oh, okay, okay. So did you ever have any uh, groups of your own that you formed? Uh, yes, I, I played in a couple of bands. Uh, we didn't really do a lot. Uh, I did have the opportunity, but uh, one of the biggest mistakes I made was uh, not playing for Rod Stewart. Oh, the legendary Ron Stewart, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So I, I, I understand that you have a publishing company. Uh, yes. Uh, about six years ago, um, April, my wife and I formed a book publishing company. And uh, she's my first author on there. Okay. And uh, currently she's working on her second and third novel. But the first novel is called Unique. Okay. And uh, it's a very good story. It's a drama. There's some uh, mystery in there. There's some erotic scenes. It's the uh, second part of it. It's a two-part story to that first novel. And uh, her, her website is aprilfloydbooks.com where they can actually see what the book is about and actually can... If they have a QR reader, they can uh, download three of the first three chapters, and uh, it doesn't cost anything as long as they just leave a comment of what they thought about it. Oh, okay. All right. So is there any other outlets that, you know, people who's not really computer savvy, they can go and purchase the book uh, outright? Oh, yeah. Uh, Well, they can go to Dunaway Books here in uh, St. Louis. They can go to uh, 
is a bookstore, uh, and also Amazon carries it. Uh, they can, and then if, as far as the stores, they can go to uh, Barnes and Noble, uh, and they can get that. If they are an e-reader, they can download it onto the iPad or whatever mobile device they're using. But uh, if they like to hold the book themselves in their hands, then yes, they can go to the bookstore and order. It. Oh, okay. Now, uh, I, I think I, I think I was doing some uh, research on you, and I believe I stumbled upon that you you do a little photography. Uh, yes, I did concert photography and uh, also shot video. Uh, I like also fashion. I have done a few weddings. I'm not too crazy about shooting weddings, but my mainstay is uh, fashion and concerts. Okay, is that something that you actively uh, actively uh, in now, or like someone? Was... Yes, I yes, I still I still currently uh, shoot, and uh, they can also find my my uh, website as well. So I do, uh, and they can look for me on Facebook if they if they want to go that route. Uh, I'm currently uh, putting my. Uh, website together is still sort of under construction because I wanted to put some new stuff there. Oh, okay. That sounds great. So you're very, you know, you're very inter- interesting person. You know, I'm, I'm glad I had the pleasure of meeting you and uh, getting to know you and everything, what you're about and what you stand for. And, and uh, it's been, it been really a pleasure uh, talking to you. Yeah. Uh, I also wanted to uh, mention that I am currently talking to some local filmmakers here and possibly we're going to uh, form a book, a uh, film production company as well. Wow. And uh, produce movies here in, locally in St. Louis. That's... And uh, so I've got a lot of things that I would like to do here in St. Louis. Wow. And I really love the people here. Uh, they, they show me nothing but love and hospitality since I've been here. Yeah. For sure, man. Yeah, that that sounds real great. You know, that's that's I think that's what's needed uh, in this day and time in St. Louis. Something fresh and brand new. Uh, someone getting together to make movies to captivate what's going on in St. Louis and in, in all the inner cities. Cause you know we have a bad rap about St. Louis. You know about the crime and the police brutality. So, you know, sometimes it, it, it may need to be highlighted and something we may, we may need to uh, address some positive things that's going on in St. Louis as well. Oh, so, absolutely. So I agree. Yeah, so that's a really, really good thing to do. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. Eddie Floyd. Look, you know, this, like I said, it's been really a pleasure, pleasure meeting you and talking to you. And, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign on off. And again, it's been a pleasure and I hope to hear from you soon. Oh, anytime, anytime. It's a pleasure talking with you. Uh, look forward to uh, talking to you about other projects. And uh, just anytime, give a call. Okay, great. Thank you very much, sir. All right.